I'm so awkward, by the way. I'm just <laughs> letting you know. We're here. Yo, Hello. hi. Can you guys can you guys hear me? Hello? Does Space, this work? The Hello? stream is playing on my Wait, wait, which mic am I on? Is it this one or is it that one? I can't. I don't know. Hi. Okay. Hi. Hey, guys. I'm going to lay it with Maya. She lives hey. here. Hey. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Um, okay, so that that was Alinity's intro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is Maya. You guys have heard of her. She is a... Uh, uh, how would you describe this place? I will I will go ahead and, and give you guys the whole rundown. Alinity didn't know that this stream was going to be on her channel until, what, like yesterday? Yeah. Or something? So, um, Alinity's surprised, but we are doing a collab today. Hello, if you have not been here before, my name is Maya. Me and Alinity are the same height. Yes, thank you for noticing. We both look normal size today. That's huge. Um, we're at Alveus. Alveus is an animal sanctuary. So we're meeting a bunch of animals today. Some Alinity is very excited about. Some Alinity is less excited about. But she'll love them all, and you will all love them all. Um, we rescue a bunch of... Yes. We <laughs> yes, rescue. yes, yes. <laughs> Sorry, yes. <laughs> yes. We rescue a bunch of animals here, and then we do conservation education programs with them. So you are going to meet all the animals, and then you're going to learn about why they're here and about the threats that they face in the wild and things like that. Um, if you want to donate to Alveus, we're trying a Twitch fundraiser today, and there have already been a bunch. So um, Tara donated $100. Thank you so much. Seferix donated, I don't remember how, I think it was 145 or something crazy. Um, Hell is Satan with $5. Siv with $25. Jato with $25. And Stealthy Boy with $5. Thank you so much. That is so cool. Somebody pointed out that I look confused, but I always look confused. It's so. also this is a crazy <laughs> set, you guys. We have we have there's one, cameras everywhere. There's cameras there's, everywhere. Like I have two mics. I don't know which one works. It's like there's lights or like, it's insane. It's we have crazy angles today, you guys. Look yeah, at this. it's a lot. Oh, not that one. We we have three cameras. Alinity and I are both mic'd up twice. So we have a mic here and then a mic here. She's got two mic. Anyway, yeah, it's anyway. cool. It's a, good, it's a crazy it's a thing. There are setup. lights. It's like we're on TV. And there's a bunch of people here. And there's it's a crazy. bunch of people in here. There's there's four other people so, here. So when I first arrived here, I was driving my car. I landed here. I, you don't land your car. I arrived. And <laughs> yo, thank you, Assassin. Thanks for the 50. Thank you, Fixer Jake, for 25. I appreciate it a lot, you guys, that you guys are supporting the cause. Maya has a ton of cute animals and some not so cute. I met the pooper frog. It's right there. And you it call doesn't him the she frog? or he doesn't that's the pooper frog. What do you oh you saw the clip of him pooping? Yeah, the, that's the one that pooped on, on Twitch. I, I I voted for I might have not voted for it, I don't remember. You can put those on. Gloves. Yeah. Ooh, it's been a while since I've worn one of these. That he's famous. A lot of people have seen Georgie poop. Georgie. We are actually we're starting with Georgie today. Ooh, that's do I have why to touch him? Oh yeah. Oh, you're yeah. gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna be like him. smooth and slimy. Thank you, Wolf. Wolf, yay! Thank you for the ten. Yeah, he's famous. But anyway, a cow like <laughs> came towards me, and I was like, "That's a cute cow." So I text my, I'm like, "I'm here," and there's a cow in front of me. Like I didn't know if it was safe to get out of the car. Like if the cow was, <laughs> gonna... was just waiting in her car, I went over there, and she's like, "Am I good to get out of the car?" <laughs> There's goats everywhere. It's it's awesome. Winnie. Yeah. Winnie's Winnie's out right now. For those of you who know her, she's she's out and about out of the pasture. It's Normally, like a dog, but it's a she, cow. She's kind of like a dog. Um, she's so she's like, I don't know how to explain. Most of the cows that I've met are like really skinny legs, really bony and big belly. Winnie is like cute thick everywhere, like cute and fluffy, like a like a golden retriever. Oh, oh yay! There I'm he bringing... comes. Oh, <laughs> nice. I have He's the so frog. Cute. You guys, this is Georgie. Okay, He's I'm going to show old. you. We're going to do a little we're gonna do a little close up here. Do I do one help? Maybe a little bit of this. Okay. I will have you hold him in just a second. <gasps> this is Georgie. He is an African bullfrog. He's the second largest frog in the world. Um, so he'll get to be a little bit bigger. He's, oh gosh, was he almost two years old now? Um, but... He just moved into a new enclosure that you guys can see on the Alveus channel if you want to see live cams. But then he's going to hold him. Our okay, hands so are I probably... I just want to point out the fact that my voice is a little messed up. It's not the mic. It's just my voice. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for clarifying. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Our hands are the same size. It is a lot of frog. So it actually is like, you really got to like, I just need to take it. Hold on. I need to prepare. Wanna... Oh, God. What if he jumps? Do you want to touch him first? Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. You can touch him. 
Oh, he's a heart. Ooh, ooh, he's he's kind of squishy. He is kind of squishy, like a balloon that's filled with water. Yeah, he's kind of. If like I that. hold him hard, can I hurt him? Um, well, I mean, don't squeeze him. I won't <laughs> squeeze. I won't squeeze. <laughs> like I, he's like hard here and really soft here, and chat. This is a full review of George. Okay, he is kind of like an what alligator. He, what does he smell like? Oh, I don't want to smell him. <laughs> Wait. I've never he doesn't it, smell actually. like anything. Nice. No, he's very cool. He's DJ, clean. thank you for the hundred dollar donation. That's amazing. And Lucian, okay. Kalanash, I'm ready? prepared now. Yes, I just need okay. prepare your hands like under. Oh, and I'll oh, put them. I'll put them in your hands. Okay. 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 Like this? Yeah. Okay. Here you go. Okay. Oh. 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 He's moving. Why? He's moving. Hey, nice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> She's got him. Okay. So. <laughs> do you know Alinity? Do you know what the oh, actually really professional right now? It looks like Alinity is running the show. Yeah, I yeah. love it. <laughs> Why is one of his feet over here touching Cause, my? Because your hands are small and oh, you don't okay. want him touching your shirt. No, no, no. That's okay. That's okay. okay. Oh, oh, he's slimy. Yeah, my shirt has slime on it. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, it's fine. I don't mind slime. I was just, it's just different, you know? <laughs> it's just it's different. <laughs> it's a little different. Okay. Yeah. So, no, George I don't want you to think that I don't like Georgie. Okay. Put Georgie okay. back. Okay. I'm just, sorry. I'm just, I'm just scared. Okay. I'm here just you go. scared. I'm just scared. I'm scared. Okay. Okay. Be okay. Scared. I grabbed You're doing him. Excellent. Okay. okay. Um, guys. He's very fat. Are they, no okay. He's big. Yeah. Are they normally this big? Like frogs? Like, no. no. He's the second largest frog in the world. This is an African frog. He'll get to be like this big. Oh. But get chatters this big, um, but he's still kind. Of, he's a bit of a, a baby right now, so he's still growing. Is there a difference between a frog and a toad? Yeah, they're just different species. Like, because he looks what I would think a toad would look like. He does kind of look like a toad. Um, no, Georgie's a frog. He is an amphibian. Whatever. Also, do you guys know what that means? Difference between reptiles and amphibians. So, Georgie, the oh, reason I know, I know, I know, I know. Um, amphibians start. <laughs> like like tadpoles yes yes i yes. learned this they go through metamorphosis when they're babies so they start as tadpoles and then they become frogs reptiles are born ready to rumble so they come out of the egg and then they run away that's one difference between amphibians and reptiles another one is their skin so the reason that we're wearing gloves today is because he has semi-permeable skin so he can absorb things through it which is really cool because if you guys have ever watched Georgie on his live cam, he is buried mm. a lot of the time in the dirt. You guys are like friends now, I feel. Like he's, he's really boy. relaxed. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna rest. Um, oh, ha, ha, ha. He's moving. <laughs> he's moving. Oh, yeah, he's moving. Okay. Georgie stays buried a lot. And in the wild, he'll stay buried for 10 months at a time in the Whoa. dirt. Oh. <laughs> But Ooh. he can absorb oxygen through his skin. Oh my god! Because it's semi permeable. I'm sorry to interrupt you. Okay. I Good. saw the weirdest thing the other day on TikTok. Okay, what was it? It was a lady <laughs> that had her turtle on the freezer, on her freezer hibernating. Uh huh. Brumation. Yes. Okay. So reptiles will brumate. Amphibians will go through a stage of torpor. Mammals will hibernate. Kind of all the same vibe. Oh. So they just go into a state of dormancy. So for Georgie. He'll bury himself for 10 months out of the year, absorb oxygen through his skin underground so he can breathe that way. Ooh. So that's why his skin is semi-permeable, and that's why we're wearing gloves. It also sucks, <clears> though, because if there's pollutants in the water or trash in the water... Oh, they'll soak right, it up. They'll soak it up. Is that one of the threats that they they yes. are... How would you said this thing, and I forgot the word. That is one of the threats that they face the in face the wild. In the wild. Yeah. Bad, cool, but not cool cool but not cool guys that's uh that's one of the big ones for frogs and then also chytrid fungus i'm gonna do a little close-up of georgie while i talk about this one so 33 percent of amphibians are at risk yeah oh boy <clears throat> thank you xano oh look at, him. <laughs> Literally, look at him <laughs> <laughs> oh my god they should make an emote of that it's like stare <laughs> <laughs> toaster thank you hammy shut up leonard xano thank you guys He's um, so thick. Okay, he, he's a big boy. So 33% mm. of, of amphibians are at risk because of this thing called chytrid fungus. Um, and it's a pathogen that's, that's killing frogs. One of the reasons that they think um, that they think chytrid started is... I'm going to put him on the table. Here you go. Um, is because people used to use them as pregnancy tests. People used to use frogs as pregnancy tests. That's not cool. Not Did they cool. pee on them? 
very close. They would they would inject female urine into the backs of the frogs, and then if there was HCG or the pregnancy hormone in the urine, the it frog die. the frog would ovulate. Oh, ooh, yeah, that's it. Makes sense, and it's yeah. it's very clever. Um, and so that's how they did it before we had disposable pregnancy tests. So they would ship a bunch of uh, African frogs in the states, shoot was them that, up with was urine. This back in like the the 1950s. old age? Okay. Um, wow. They would shoot them up with urine. Mm. And, uh, you know, then African quad frogs got out and um, disease spread, invasive species spread. And that's that's one of the ideas for how chytrid was spread. Also, the pet trade, also frog leg trade. People eat frog legs. But, yeah. How'd they know to try that? Who knows? Super duper egg. Thanks for the 50. Thank you for the 50. Mm, do okay. you think they were injecting a lot of animals with a lot of stuff just to find out what they, worked? They tried rabbits and mice before frogs but for oh. the rabbits and mice they had to dissect them to find out if they were pregnant the frogs would just lay <clears throat> eggs they wouldn't die no oh okay reusable pregnancy test oh wow it's uh Frog. very interesting okay Jordy's pissed he He's wants mad. to go home i'm gonna i'm gonna take him home you can take him home georgie everybody, everybody say goodbye to george okay he'll wave look he looks so like unamused bye you know what I mean? Yeah, he, was thinking, <laughs> he just doesn't care. I haven't seen him blink once. Okay, one more cool thing about Georgie. He does have special eyelids. Oh! You saw it. Did you see it in the tank? Yeah! Earlier? Okay, I know what you mean. No, I didn't think he, he has, was blinking. Oh, there I saw was. something like it's a called, gray thing. It's called a nictitating membrane. <clears throat> um. So, uh, he's not bought. Okay. <gasps> See I that like yeah. clear, um, it's like swim goggles, so it can keep debris from going in his eyes underwater, but he can still see through it. Um, lots of uh, birds and, and amphibians and stuff like this have nictitating membranes. So that's, those are Georgie's eyelids. He doesn't really blink though, otherwise. Why would he? <laughs> that's really cool. No, Alinity's not gonna kiss him. No, I won't. I don't think she I've already to kissed too many frogs in my life. What? <laughs> that's, damn that's tragic none of them turn into a prince so i gave up on that sorry buddy okay georgie's back in his habitat we're gonna make a little <gasps> he's moving he's moving okay so does he try to burrow himself under under the yes the yeah. longest he has been buried at our facility is like six days <laughs> Oh really? He just climbed back up into the uh into the substrate that he has. All right. Okay. We're gonna make a little. We're gonna do something else now. Okay. And it's a little thank less. Thank you, the Connor. Like, I cannot say your name, but thank you for the five. I appreciate that's it. It's Connor. <laughs> it was him. Oh, that's Connor. <laughs> oh, thank you, Connor. <laughs> I haven't seen you in so long. I appreciate you putting the cam down so we look taller Thank yeah you that's for that. that oh oh my gosh look at us look Wait. at us we're so big maya okay here is <gasps> is a bird gonna come yes yeah. she's a genius <clears throat> chat she's so Hold smart on. chat i'm so smart i don't think you saw did you see this one come in no okay exciting <clears throat> surprise it's a surprise i'm excited hello come for the bird Chad, I'm not excited. There's apparently cockroaches, and I have a phobia to cockroaches. Like, you guys don't understand. I'm terrified of them. It's it's going to be tough. <clears throat> All right. Next. <gasps> es un loro. Does he talk? Yes. <clears throat> what, does he say bad words? Not that I've heard. Hola, lorito. Quiere cacao? <laughs> Connor, why are you, what are you doing? What are you saying? Hello. Oh. Hello. Oh. Is he mad? He looks mad. She's got a lot. Oh, she might bite you. I like cockatoo <laughs> videos. Chomp, go. Chomp. Okay, I will be careful. Chat, we're going to mic up Siren right now. That's what you're hearing right now is that testing this other mic. Connor has it on him right now. Is this Siren? I I can hear you. I have to cough. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> okay. So sorry. Sorry, what? I just had to cough. Oh. <gasps> what are you saying? What do you think? Can you say hello? Can you say hi? Hi. Hello. 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 Oh, so, nice. so cute. 
Okay, chat, we're gonna have her do more talking once we have a mic. Hold on, we are, we are setting her up. We can sort of hear her, excellent. We're gonna put a mic on her? Yeah, so. Um, so this is a this is a blue fronted Amazon. You guys, no sound. Hello, hello, hello. Say hello. <laughs> it's very nice. Um, this is a blue fronted Amazon. Here, I'll have her turn around so you can see her. This is a blue fronted Amazon. Um, so she is from the Amazon rainforest, which is massive. Why is she all the way here? She's a pet. Um, so I think she was bred in captivity and then someone had her as a, okay, siren. Someone had her as a pet and then, um, sorry, I'm so distracted because I'm hearing like 17 things. Um, she was someone's pet and then they decided they couldn't have her as a pet. And so they donated her here. Oh, So we have okay. four parrots. Oh, that was a really nice spin. <laughs> spin. Oh, sorry. Can you spin? Spin. Spin. Wow. <laughs> Amazing. So Why not? Why do they not make good pets? Can you rewind? Wow. Because they live for a very long time. They do. They they live, they can live to be like 70 years old. And they're super freaking loud. Like mega loud. They're in between. It's like just above the threshold for pain for your ear. If, if, oh. if they're as loud as they can be. And just below the threshold for, um, no, no, no. Other way. It's just above the threshold for prolonged hearing loss, or hearing loss from prolonged exposure, just below the threshold for pain. Oh. You have a lot to say, huh? Are you ready to get mic'd up? Can you spin? That's so nice. Oh. Here, do you want to give her a, I'll give you something okay. bigger. You can hand it to her. Oh, I love these. A pistachio. Can I eat it? <laughs> she can eat it. You can eat it if you really want it. I have another one. I eat this one and she <laughs> the other one. Are they salty? <laughs> no. Oh. Um. I love pistachios. They're so good. Okay. Does she <laughs> yeah. open it herself? She'll open it herself. Is she going to bite me? No. Give nice. Oh, that was so cute. <laughs> mm -hmm. yes. All right. Mm. You got another microphone. Let's see. Chat, let's see if you can hear Siren. Siren? Just grabbing you. Are you eating a pistachio? It's so nice. She loves pistachios. She's um, such a job. She is. She's really funny. Okay, so they can live a really long time. Um, they can be super, super loud, and they can bite super, super hard. Could she um, bite my finger off? Not off. But okay. Definitely break skin. I okay. don't know if she could break your finger. The bigger macaws that we have, absolutely. I don't know if she could break your finger. She could break her finger, huh? Siren could break her finger, right? Pinky finger. Pinky finger. My Siren? pinky finger. <laughs> like she could like chop should a piece it? off. No, we should not <laughs> test that. All right. Sonic, thank you for the 50. Can you say hello? Hello. That's Look a nice. puppy, give the 15. Wow. Oh, Crownick, thank you for the 50. Did this work? Can you guys hear her? Hello? Hello? Hello. Hi, Birdie. <laughs> Hi. She gives kisses if you say, I love you. That's nice. Oh, little, little kisses. Amazing. She also tries to sing happy birthday. Some people think it doesn't sound like happy birthday, but I think it sounds like happy birthday. Siren. Hi, birdie. Can you say happy birthday? That's her saying birthday. What do you think? <laughs> happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Good job. It does sound like it. It's really good. Pretty <laughs> good. What's so funny? And she can laugh. She says, what's so funny? So funny. <laughs> Amazing. Um, so these birds are at risk because of habitat loss um, in the Amazon rainforest. They have, um, do you want to try to give her this? Ooh. Yeah, I she can. She has a seed for you. I'm just going to hold it. Hold it a very oh, end. Oh, a seed. Yummy. Oh, look at the bird. It's cute. Wow, oh she goodness. like breaks it so easily. Yeah. Do you want to have a competition with her over who can get to the sea the fastest? No, I'm not. <laughs> she <laughs> <lives>. <laughs> um, She's so fast. Siren? What's that? Can you say hello? Say hello. Birthday. 
Oh. Not hello. So, so these birds are at risk because of the pet birthday. trade. Happy birthday. It's nice. Um, because the pet trade, so a lot of people bring them in thinking that they want them as pets. She's trying to eat the mic. I know. It kind of looks like a sunflower seed. But they make really bad pets. And then because of habitat loss, uh, we've lost like 20% of the Amazon rainforest, which is significant because it is twice the size of India. It's a lot of space. Um, they're thinking we lose like a, it's like a football field a minute or something in deforestation of the Amazon rainforest. Oh, that's insane. It's insane. It's like uh, not fathomable. Here, give her another one. Yes. Say hi, birdie. That's so nice. You go. <laughs> that's nice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I need the mic. Happy birthday. You say happy birthday. Happy birthday. It does sound like day. Thank you. I yeah, think it does. Pretty good. I think it's pretty good. You want to say hi? Can you show? There. Oh, that's so nice. Green bird. Anyway. Hi, birdie. Birdie. Hi, birdie. So, <laughs> Siren's really cool. Um, I would love for Luna to be able to hold her, but they, they're really, like, carrots are really tough, and they bite really hard, and they bite a lot of people. I can do I no. think she will bite you. Oh. And I don't want to do that to you. No, that's not a good idea. Happy birthday. No. Um, so, yeah, that's why we have Siren. But anyway, move the mic away from her mouth a little. Say hello. Hello. Is that better? <laughs> We're testing. Why can we hear Maya twice? Oh, that makes sense. Sorry about that. Oh, that makes sense. All right. Hi, birdie. Birdie. Are you a bird person already? Um, it depends on the bird, really. Some have... birds I like, some others not. We had Australian parakeets. My parents got them when I was little. <clears throat> and oh, I had a chicken pet. I've told oh, you the you've story of my chicken about pet. Chicken. Yeah. yeah. I like chickens. Chat. Lenny has a really really nice story about her pet chicken. That my chat has heard the story like 30 million <laughs> times. Is there someone in the chat that hasn't heard my chicken pet story? If there's <laughs> one person that hasn't heard it, I will tell you guys about it. It's really bad. Never. Okay, chat. So when I was little, I was like seven or eight years old. Do the mm. And my parents took me to summer camp. And thank you for the 25 XT82. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, so my parents took me to the summer camp. And at the summer camp, they took me to chicken factory. It was like, I don't know what kind of chicken factory it was. I, just, I don't have a big memory, but they had like, <gasps> chicken. Oh, hi. oh my God, these are the cute chickens. My godmother has some of these. It's a silky chicken. She has a. It my relevant. godmother has this giant like. It's like a restaurant farm thing. There's like tons of animals and stuff. Yeah. In Colombia, and she has some of these. That's Paul. Maybe they're different. She has some hairy freaking chickens. <laughs> like really, there's not hair. It's feathers. Feathery, Feathery chicken. It's a fluffy chicken. Anyway, continue. Yes. So anyway, chat. Um, I. They gave me a chicken. My parents told me that they were going to give me a chicken and that I should say, no, thank you. You know, I have too many pets at home. But I got the chicken and I took the chicken home. And my parents were kind of mad. But eventually they were like, you know what? It's okay. Like, we'll just have a new chicken. So we had a chicken and his name was Pirulito. That's what my sister named him. It's like a lollipop name. Like, it's just Pirulito in Spanish. Okay. So I had the chicken and the chicken, like, he was there and he was around and you know like i had a pet chicken and he would like pee, 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 you know like just what chickens do and one day <clears throat> a friend came over and i told my friend i was like you know i have a pet chicken i'm gonna show you my pet chicken so i looked for my pet chicken thank you people don't exist thanks for the sub um anyway i told her i was gonna show her my pet chicken and i looked for it and i couldn't find it so i asked my mom hey mom where's my pet chicken and my mom she's like oh well, your pet chicken found a family and new friends and brothers and sisters and a mommy and a daddy. And he's very, very happy. <clears throat> and I was like, okay, whatever. You know, I was like eight years old. I just didn't think too much of it. Um, and then when I was 14 years old, I was doing a school project with my autobiography. And I was taking a bunch of pictures, you know, that like putting them together. And I saw a picture of Pirulito. And I asked my mom, like, what the heck happened to Pirulito, mom? And she's like, oh, we cooked him, and you had him. He was delicious. That's actually so traumatizing. I would lose my mind. What did you say? How did you react? Did you cry? It's just, no, I didn't. I was very shocked. Like, I couldn't believe my parents would do that. 
But I wasn't so mad about the fact that they killed him. I figured out that they had killed him. I just thought they had given it to someone to like have yeah, for right. dinner. But the fact that they fed it to me, that's like that's like that's you know whack. you know the stories of the the murder people that like kill someone and they feed them that's, to the that's a lot. But yeah, <laughs> yes, it's kind of like that. <laughs> same thing, right? Same thing. <laughs> like literally, same thing. It's just like they fed me my pet. Like how do they do this? <laughs> okay, yeah, that's that's really traumatic. I heard that story one other time. Um, but okay, we have a chicken. Her name's Polly. Polly's not technically an ambassador, but she's in the studio. She lives in the studio right now, so she's here. She's a silky, so she looks really weird, right? This is not what, um, she has a feather on her head. Okay, duck to her head. Um, where is her butt? Here. In there. Oh, I see it. Down there. There's, uh, if you guys were curious, where the chicken's butt is. I don't know. It's just interesting. <laughs> I want to, I want to know where they poop from. Um, Polly was bred to look crazy um because she's a domestic breed of chicken really interesting thing about chickens you guys know obviously chickens are where we get our eggs right in the wild the closest wild counterpart oh <laughs> she's pooping chat you missed it that's why pooped. i wanted to know where she pooped from <laughs> now lenity has seen it for herself she knows that was way bigger than i thought it would be <laughs> I mean, oh, no, don't jump off. <clears throat> There's her poop, Chat, everybody. Look at that. Look at the size of that. Chicken poop smells so bad. Can not smell anything? Do we have like a paper towel or something? Can I grab her? Can I hold her? Yeah, you can pick her up. See, I know how to pick up chickens because I had a chicken. What do you think, Polly? Do you want what? Oh, hi. Mm -hmm. So she's so fluffy everywhere. Yeah, she really is. Here, I can. Get no, it before she steps on it. Don't clean up the chicken poop, Alinity. You're a guest here. I don't care. I just don't want her to step on it. Oh, well, you're going to fall. What is her name again? Polly. Polly, Polly Pocket. Technically. Oh, like Paul. I had Polly Pockets growing up. Same. Um, okay, guys. So their closest relative in the wild is, <laughs> is the red Bothering jungle me. fowl, which Polly <laughs> looks nothing like. Nothing like. In the wild, chickens have two laying seasons. So they'll lay like 10 to 12 eggs a year domestic layers the ones that we buy eggs from from the grocery store will lay between 250 and 300 eggs per year so one a day yep um and that's be just because of artificial selection so they're really i mean in the wild they're only made to, to have two breeding seasons 10 to 12 eggs a year um and and we've made that number pretty insane um because of having having a commercialized She's the poultry scratching industry scratching her their face do you the... want it's right <clears throat> here i don't know how well she can see to be honest, I feel like it's she's really fluffy. You can't even see where her eyes are. I can see them. Yummy, oh. Polly. <laughs> so cute. She's cute. Um, but when you buy eggs at the grocery store, we're gonna put up a little put up a little graphic here. When you buy eggs at the grocery store, um, if you wanna do if you wanna be more ethical about your consumption um, of eggs free when you range. buy them, free so free range doesn't actually mean that they've been outside. It doesn't also. It also doesn't mean that they've had access to the outdoors. Um, cage free means even less than free range does in that way. Um, so doesn't mean that they've had access to the outdoors. That's such pasture a scam. Pasture raised. It, it's such a scam. Um, pasture raised technically doesn't mean that either, but it's the way that farmers are differentiating themselves. This label right here on screen. It's on screen there. Um, this label, Certified Humane, is a separate entity that uh, goes and reviews farms. And this is how, if you buy eggs with this label on it, you'll know that those chickens have actually been pasture raised, which what, what you would expect, um, you know, when you read that label. But also eggs are really expensive right now. So Does like, she lay you know, eggs? Uh, she does. Yeah. They're little. They're like this. Have you tried eating them? Like this big. Yeah. They you have? Like, yeah, they just taste like eggs. Sorry. That's cool. Just a little egg. But yeah, that's Polly. She's really cute. I like her. <laughs> She's cute and fluffy. Okay, you're gonna go And back her now. legs are really fluffy. It's a lot of fluff. Aww. Also, her beak is crooked. Look. She pooped again. Wow, you're such a pooper. Can you swap again? Her beak is crooked. Can you tell? Yeah. I mean... <clears throat> The prices are about to drop on eggs, he says. Oh, really? So, there you go. You can go 50%. look for those eggs. Okay. I mean, you could technically go to, like, a farm where they have chickens, right? Like, there's going to be a farm somewhere out 
I don't know. The US surrounding is area about that. in Saskatchewan. I used to go to a farm and I'd buy eggs in a farm. That's cute. I wish it. So, I, I feel like people don't. But do I don't think you can do that. that. You can also buy like a whole cow and like they kill it. Right. And, like that's you how. You just need a really big freezer. Yeah. Okay, Elena, I'm gonna bring you the next friends. one. It's okay. not as fluffy. <clears throat> not as fluffy. Okay. She doesn't know what. What did I not know? Hi. What do you guys think she's bringing? It's probably an older bird. Oh. Or a lot of friends. Damn. Well, yeah, so you can, like, divide the cow and a bunch of people, you know? Because it's... You guys have no idea how much meat comes from a cow. <gasps> no, it's not a roach. There is not a roach. It's 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 not, a, it's not going to be a roach. No, no, no. 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 He seems okay. No. 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 I just no. made it rain on the crickets no. on accident. Oh, my God. Oh, no. <laughs> this is patchy. Chat. This is patchy. He's just a little guy. He's just a little, little boy. Is he like venomous? No. Um, mm, okay. There are over 3,000 species of snake in the world, and only about 20% of them are venomous. This is not. How do you know for a venomous sure? One. Um, he's a ball python. Oh. The species isn't venomous, so you don't have to worry. He also only has one eye. Look. Oh. What happened to the other eye? He was born with one eye. Um, he was bred for color um, for the pet trade. Um, and so sometimes that comes with genetic problems. And that's why we have him, because they couldn't sell him to pet stores. Because he's a one-eyed snake, and people don't want that. Why not? I don't know. I would prefer a snake that can't see me. Do you want to touch him first? He's not slimy. It's made out of keratin, like our fingernails. Kind of nice, right? Will he bite? No. She is a he. He. <clears throat> How do you know it's a boy? Does he have a... Um, you can sex him with... I can't show you how to do it. There's, there's like, prongs that you use, and um, the, the genitalia is internal. Okay, so how do I go about this? I'm confused. Um, I would Careful just hold out your head. hands like Georgie. Okay. Oh, God, I'm scared of his face, though. Oh, God. Oh, God. Nice. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, Patchy! Are you okay? <laughs> She's like, in labor. <laughs> Is he gonna? Can he sense my stress? You're fine. Okay. Don't worry. I have his head right now. I'm holding his head. Chat. She's fine. I'm fine. I'm just worried that he, he can sense how stressed out I am, and he's gonna attack me. No. He's Patchy's really nice. Okay, because there's a be there's a lot everybody. of like uh, the hormones going on. Best is lying to you. Mm -hmm. It's not true. Um, so only He's about twenty percent okay. of snake species I'm across the now. world. I'm relaxed now. You feel more relaxed. He, yeah, okay. he feels more relaxed. I am. Um, relaxed. only twenty percent of the snake species in the world are venomous. Only seven percent of all snake species could really like kill you. Um, and again, this is not one of them. He's Why not he a venomous snake. Like that. He's staring at me, Maya. He's just checking you out. He's never met you before. Now you're holding him. Yeah. Am I scary? What do you think? Is, Whoa, he is, that, is that his right? nose? He has a bunch of holes in his nose? So his tongue, <clears throat> when he's sticking his tongue out, there, he has special organ, a special organ in his mouth. And it's called the Jacobson's organ. And he'll collect particles on his tongue, put it back in his mouth, and then put it in that organ. And that's how he smells. So he's smelling with his tongue when he sticks his tongue out. You guys can't see it, Bill What about the, the orange it. holes he's got on his face? I don't actually know <clears throat> what the function of that he is. He's got some orange holes, chat. Chat, he has orange holes in his face. Um, it looks like they're like nose, but it's a bunch of them. Yeah. But there's not his nose. It's not his nose. Through. They're heat sensors, Hawk said. I would believe that. I don't think he likes me. I, I think, think he I likes you. Him. I'm actually, I'm going to give him <clears throat> to you now. Okay. Okay. So the reason we have Patchy is because reptiles are super at risk because of the pet trade as well. So ball pythons are exported from Africa more than any other species of snake. You look so calm. You look like a natural. Yeah. Um, okay. There are over 3.6 million ball pythons that have been imported in the United States uh, between 2010 and 2019. Um, it's a massive number, and the reason is because they're really easy to poach. So they're called a ball python. You have to hold his head? No, you're okay. okay. He's just exploring. Okay. okay. Um, when they get scared, they curl up in a ball. Oh, that's what he's doing. Yeah, well, 
I mean, he's actually it looks like he wants to explore a little bit. If you want to let him go down on the table, if he like leaves, it's fine. Yeah. I don't want to scare him. I feel bad. He's okay. It's not his fault. I'm such a. <laughs> I don't want to say the word, but <laughs> he's okay. Um, so they fault. curl up in a ball. Poachers just pick them up and then and then ship them here. It's a really terrible defense mechanism. We had another ball python here at one point. Um, and it died because um, the start to its life was terrible. It arrived in the U.S. at LAX, shoved in uh, PVC pipe. Like they took a bunch of baby snakes from Africa and they shoved them in PVC pipe and shipped them here via cargo for the pet trade. Oh my God, that's awful. Because there's a lot of money in... Okay, so I've learned today the pet trade is awful. Yeah, um, you got to be really, really careful about how you source your pets. Like what's wrong with dogs? You know what I mean? Just get dogs. Talk to them, Alinity. She gets it. Guys, just get a dog or get a cat, but keep it inside. Yeah, a Damn. dog, a cat, a ferret. Yeah, ferret, something cool. like that. Isn't it cute? And he's pretty. And yeah, I really don't think they should get slick. dogs unless they're ready for like. A, dogs are a lot. That's true. Cat is good because they're kind of independent. Do you know what he eats? And you can throw them. I'm just kidding. You can't. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Don't do that. I'm just kidding. I was joking. It was a joke. Wait, sorry. What does he eat? Chickens. Yeah. Oh, chicken. Like this? I've seen them open their <laughs> mouths so big and swallow like a no. whole thing. No, that'd be crazy though. No? Um, no. He eats uh, uh, bigger than that. Um Get warmer. Is it maybe. like an insect? Uh no. Um Look, he's balling rat. up. Yes. Oh. He eats baby rats right now because he's he's little. But he, he eats rats small. that are like this big. Why is he sticking his tongue at me? Good job, guys. Yeah, mice. Mice rats. Hi. Oh. What do you think? He's like, I don't like Alinity. I don't think he's saying that. I think he's a fan. Yeah? Yeah. He's been watching for a long time. So <laughs> cool to watch him feed. Yeah. They're really cool. Really cool snakes. He did How get fed yesterday. How often does he eat? He eats once every other week. Oh, wow. Yeah, they yeah, don't eat much. This is a big meal. Hi, buddy. Right? Yeah. Does it go through like their bodies slowly? Yeah. They're can you all... like see it? Yeah, you can see it That's up until cool. like I don't know, like here maybe. Mm -hmm. What do you think? That's really cool. Does he poop? He does. Out of does he have a butthole? He's a cloaca. Yeah, <gasps> I know what a cloaca is. One but hole. birds have cloacas. Uh -huh. They pee, they poop, and then they lay eggs from the same hole. Yep, <clears throat> one hole for everything. Also, uh, reproduction. We call it a cloacal kiss. They just, just they touch cloacas together. Yep. Cool. I mean, we kind of do yeah. the same thing. Yeah, pretty cool. <laughs> All right, that's Patchy. Oh, I'm like sorry. Him? I was so nervous. I like how he feels. You like him more than you thought you would. Yeah, I do. I just like the pitch of it. Oh, does he shed his skin? Now. He does. Yeah. Um, the shedding oh, isn't. Touch the underside. Mm -hmm. He's softer. <gasps> oh, the underside is way softer. So he has really cool belly scales, guys. Yeah. Um, that helps him. A lot of people ask like how they move because <clears throat> they don't have legs, obviously. These belly scales under wait, which camera? Um, this camera. The belly scales underneath them, hold on, um, is how they propel themselves forward. So they kind of these move up and they grab the ground and then push, push the ground behind them. Um, so that's how they move. <gasps> so when the child just said this is a snake. Folder. That is noodle skin. <clears throat> yeah. Um, so Noodle is a bigger snake that we have. I'm not going to bring her out today. Don't worry. Oh, okay. Patchy Shed. <gasps> Patchy's last oh. shed. Look at them. Thank you, Kayla. That is cool. Pretty crazy, right? Does he know what this is? I don't think so. Is he like, this is my skin? No, no I don't think. No. <laughs> that is so weird. I don't think he's like offended that you're holding his, okay. his ex skin. Anyway. But yeah, he sheds. Not like, it's not like a regular. Looks like uh, bubble wrap. It does look like bubble wrap. Uh, you can show it on on this camera. If yeah. You want to give him an up close. Okay. Or you can just like lean over. Okay. Oh, like this. Yeah. Wow, snake skin. It's really and you can cool. also see it's kind of dry. This is the bottom. So these are his belly scales. Oh, they're bigger. Yeah, his yeah. belly scales are big. They're bigger. Wait, they're hexagons. Yeah, they that are, is all so cool. They all tessellate, and his head is right oh, here. Oh my god, these are hexagons too. Kind of crazy. That is cool. Chat, look at how hexagons are like really cool. Look how intricate it is. They're like everywhere that? in the wild. They're the bestagons. Yes, you've watched the video. Wow. <clears throat> 
Hey, there's his head okay. too, by the way. Look at this. It's like actually his mouth right here. Oh. Opening. So does he just like take a while to shed it out? Does he just come out of it from the front? Um, yeah. Well, it rolls it rolls down. <laughs> yeah, he's always used this example. Ever. It rolls down like a condom. So like okay. it like rolls out. Yeah. yeah. That's uh interesting. There you go. Here. <laughs> Who can I hand it back to? Okay, I'm gonna bring Patchy back. Do you guys have any questions about Patchy, Lenny? Do you have any questions about Patchy? No, he's nice. The purpose of the skin shedding is how they grow, so they shed out of their skin and then oh. they can be bigger. What's a condom, Lenny? Um, <clears throat> so it's um something you wrap yourself in to be safe from he's the amazing. scary things out there, like pregnancies and <clears throat> stds yeah wrap your willy yep indeed <laughs> thank you buddy <laughs> like a coat like a raincoat yes like a raincoat and they're they're good you should be safe because you don't want anything bad to happen to your willy let's go oh like a party balloon I, I love balloons i'm like a big fan of balloons especially the ones that go up you know like the helium balloons i really like them great sales pitch i actually hate them but don't tell like, you wouldn't be saying this okay no i love condoms they're the best they're the greatest so um <clears throat> anyway um maya you need to come back because i'm Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm bad i'm coming back bad 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 whoa 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 what is in there <laughs> okay so <laughs> we are we're starting the the bug program wait what did you say i was talking about condoms oh <clears throat> yeah that's good you guys yeah know about i was that. talking about condoms and how great they are good yeah okay um so i have i have the first bug for you but i <clears> actually <throat> think that you'll like it i you think I'll, is it like a butterfly no, <laughs> <Love> butterflies. <laughs> not a butterfly. A cricket. I like crickets. It's not a cricket. That's grasshopper. No, I'm mm. surprised you like crickets. It can't Beetles. fly. Um, no. Okay, Beetle? I don't think you're gonna guess what it is, but I will put it in your hand. No, <laughs> it's so Maya small. Maya, it's so small. Maya. No, no, no. I, I will. I can. I, I will not put something in my hand yeah. without knowing what it is. I'll give you a hint. Its name. Uh, his name is Marty. <laughs> Marty yeah it's um and he has stripes ladybug they use hmm. it like it's, it kind of it doesn't look like it's a all, scorpion no. look they're showing you what it is they're leaking it with the emote you see that i don't know that what that thing? is <laughs> it's a moth dun 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 oh that's tiny <laughs> what is that <laughs> it's a zebra isopod <clears throat> Oh, I will hold that. Yeah, see, he's cute, right? Yeah, he's cute. So this is your the Mediterranean version of, of the roly-poly. Wait, this is like a centipede. He's got a it lot of kinda, feet. A Does lot that of not little legs. do anything bad to you? I, Maya, I have to admit, if I saw this in the wild, I would probably step on it. I'd be like, what? For this what is gonna reason? crawl in my, I don't know, Maya. I just, crawl in your what? <laughs> in my ear. I have like a thing for things crawling in my ears. I don't know why. He will not crawl in your ear. Like a um, fear of something getting in my ears. Guys, don't step on isopods. Okay, they're very important. They're the reason they break down um, organic material in soil. So the reason that we have things that grow is because there are a bunch of detritivores like this guy in our soils. Oh. And that's why they're important. All insects are actually super, super mega important. Insects make up ninety four percent of our animal species on the planet. Do you guys like, can you fathom what that means? There's over 990,000 described species of invertebrate. And for vertebrates, like birds, reptiles, Pickles. mammals, uh, there's only, there's less than 45,000 species. So there are tons of insects in the world and the world runs off of insects. Um, they're super, super important. If you could have like the mass of old insects, is it like more than the mass of all humans? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I would That's imagine. That's crazy. Um, that's a lot but yeah there there are a ton of them um a lot of people are, yeah what do mosquitoes do why do we have mosquitoes who cares no mosquitoes? mosquitoes are awful everybody hates mosquitoes yes mosquitoes. i had dengue fever do not do not make me like mosquitoes <laughs> mosquitoes 
uh, our problem for for illnesses for humans um mosquitoes are pollinators uh, male mosquitoes are pollinators oh, uh, going to be pollinators too are the reason that we eat fruits and vegetables right any flowering plant is because we have pollinators so yeah, we, we do can need just them. have bees it's not They're just great. bees we need ah, lots of oh, oh my god <clears throat> What happened? No, I just, he almost fell and then I almost put my <laughs> finger and then I realized I was going to squish him and what if I squish him and he I'd dies. be really sad if, if you squished him. But yeah, exactly. I'm going to trust really you careful. to babysit him right now and I will show you why. Um, I, I mean, I'm going to get Marty. He's very small, chat. Like, <clears throat> he's so tiny. And he's got these no. little, like, antenna things. I don't know what they are. And he's got, like, a ton of feet. And he just wants to stay in my finger because he's scared of me or something. Alina, dot, 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 don't squish him. Don't throw him. <clears throat> no, he's too small. I like to throw bigger things. I can just him in here. Careful. Yeah. Wait, is she going to bring a different... In oh, he tickles so much on the top of your... Ah! Oh, my God. He did a flip. Okay. <clears throat> so we have a lot of Martys. They're all named Marty. Oh, there's a ton of them. Oh, this is like my goldfish. My mom had a bunch of them, and she would replace them. So, if, oh God, no! Oh my, 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 my! Take him, take him! I don't like this. This is giving me like weird. This, there's too many of them. There's too many of them. There's too many of them. There's too many of them, and they're still crawling. The only one on your hand. Okay, they're crawling it's the same a lot. One. <laughs> no, but this is giving me like they're crawling everywhere. Yeah, because they mm -hmm. have there's too many of them. To be, okay, like anybody. It just else. looks. You should show them so they understand what I'm talking about. Chat. This there's is Marty. a lot of them. There's a lot of them. These are zebra isopods. You need a lot of them to break <clears throat> down soils because they don't eat all that much because they're little guys, you know. I know. But See, when you it's have different. a ton of them, it's it's good. Do you want to hold the log? No, I will not do that. What if I told I you? I have like I don't know why. What is it called? Like trypanophobia thing. Trypophobia. Like it does something similar to me, where like if There's I see a lot of things here. crawling, it just it it's not good. I I I liked it better when it was just one. Okay, well, we have a bunch of them. We're just going to slowly, we're going to slowly ramp up this insect program. Okay. Do they but, have babies? Yeah, of course, <clears> like, <throat> there are babies on here. See the little, oh, the little guy, he's So hiding. does the big one make a baby? Yes. Do they do, they <laughs> do sex? Or yeah, they egg? do. They, 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 they one on top of the other? Oh, yep. cool. Mm -hmm. Yep. Cool. Insect sex know. is pretty crazy, guys. They it don't is? use condoms. They don't. That's why you get to wrap it up, chat. That's, yeah, or else you're going to end up like You're going to have a bunch of little Martys. You don't want a bunch of little Martys running around eating wood or whatever they eat. They, do they eat the wood? Uh, yeah. That wood that they're on? Is that their food? Yeah. That's cool. That's really cool. Yeah. Random one. Is Marty for the day? I think so. I think she just has a lot of Martys. Oh, could you? So, like, if I accidentally squish one of them, she probably wouldn't know. I could doubt you? she counts them. I bet you guys should. I'm not gonna do it on purpose. I'm just saying, like, it. Don't tell her. I no. Don't tell her. I said this. Please. Don't tell her. I said I'm not gonna do that on purpose. But I'm mm -hmm. saying, if it accidentally happened, because you know a lot of accidents happen around me. One of them is from my shirt. No, don't say that. Don't Shit. say that. Please don't weird me out. I feel like she's gonna bring like more bugs. She can hear my mic. No, she Dude. can't. She's laughing. I think she can. Maya, you're awesome. She's actually really cool. But anyway, don't let the intrusive thoughts. Okay, so if you guys don't know me, I have like a thing with. <clears throat> yeah, my voice is really bad. I went to Disneyland and I screamed a lot. But anyway, <clears throat> I have like a lot of intrusive thoughts. Totally and because I have no filter, I just theory. always voice my intrusive like, thoughts, which is not good. Yeah, uh, it's. it's there is no bugs in my shirt. Stop saying that. No, there aren't. Imagine. I contacted with his face. Um, I should not call him with his face, so I won't say anything. <coughs> right, oh, no. oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Is that a cockroach? No. You sure? Not. No, it's not. You promise? I, I promise. I would tell you if I had a cockroach. It's a scorpion. It is. Ooh, ooh. So, um, does he bite? Does he sting with his? No, he can, um, but he has not. So, if he does do that, what would happen? <clears throat> uh, I think it's like the equivalent of a bee sting. I don't think it'd be that bad. Um, I do have bad news for you. Oh, just a little. It's kind of bad news, but it's not that big of a bad. Anyway, I have two scorpions. <clears throat> um, their names are Puppy and Tortellini. Okay. Um, sorry. Puppy and Tortellini. Puppy and Tortellini. This okay. is Tortellini. What happened to Puppy? Puppy <clears throat> is buried, and 
Uh, puppy is usually the the scorpion that I use for programs, um, because he's a little more chill. Tortellini's a little crazy. He does look feisty. He's a little crazy. Like he wants to grab some. What, yeah. is it, what are they called? Like boxing gloves and yeah. go. Like. Yeah, he's kind of a lot. Here, you guys want to see him? That'd be kind of cool. I I wonder if someone can put like little boxing gloves on a scorpion. You know what I mean? Look at them. He's kind of cute. <clears throat> Never mind. I'm just. I'll just be quiet. <laughs> he does. He does have like boxing hands. <laughs> I agree with you. Um. So, when I say buried, I mean he's buried himself. They do that. Uh. This is an emperor scorpion. You know those big black scorpions. Like the ones that you see, like the ones that you think of, they're like hand size. Yeah. This is that. It's ex except he's a baby. Oh, so, so he's gonna get big. Oh, he'll get like the size of my hand. Um, but it'll take him about four years to get there because he'll go through molts, um, four different molts. He's gone through one molt. What is a molt? Um, the same thing that the snakes do, shedding their skin. Shade skin. So he'll he'll shed his exoskeleton. Um, these guys are really. Do you want to try to hold him? Like cicadas. Yeah. Exactly. They do the same thing. They molt. Yeah. Um, I think I'm good. Okay. <laughs> That's. I might, I'll, I'll let you have that one. That's okay. Yeah. Um. So they're really important because they eat cricket. You like cricket, sorry. Um. They eat little bugs, and so they are. Uh, they're important as a as a biological pest control. Um. So if you don't like bugs, you should like scorpions. <laughs> do you think he knows you? No. No, he has no so. idea what's going on here. Yeah, no, I don't think so. I think he's <clears> he doesn't be like, oh, this is Maya. This is the but lady that so takes cute. care of me. Look at his, his little eyes. His eyes on the side of his head, oh, yeah. and he has eyes on the top of his head too. So he's looking at you now too. Wait, what? That's so Isn't that crazy? Weird. That's an adult emperor scorpion. Thank you, space. Um, someone asked about their stings here. Yes, he still has a stinger. Yes, of course he has a stinger. Um, the babies are a little bit more apt to sting because the adults will use their claws because they're bigger. The babies don't have big claws, um, so the babies are more likely to sting. So that's why I'm. I'm giving Lenny the pass on not holding tortellini. I think it's like the, the, the if I can feel her. You'll definitely, yeah, like you the crawling. I, I, that's Here, just I'll too much. You guys close up so you guys can see his eyes too. Okay, Lenny, rate, rate Marty. I like him. He's kind of cool. I, I have to say, like, I, I vibe with him. I like him more than, wait, this is not Marty. What is his name? This is tortellini. Tortellini. Um, I, I'm not a big fan of Marty, but I like tortellini. Really? Yeah. You like tortellini more I than I mean, Marty. I'm not going to grab him, but. If I saw Tortellini in the wild, I'd probably be like, oh, there's a cool scorpion. If I saw Marty in the ground, I'd be like, this is just some bug. I'm going to step on it. <gasps> oh, he <laughs> fell. Buddy, are you okay? Did that hurt? No, he's okay. He's got an exoskeleton. He's fine. Yeah, he's okay. Thank you. I was just kidding. My, I would never step on any animals. He's all right. Okay. Um. Anyway, that's Tortellini. This is his first time out on a program. He's gonna hate me after this. Yeah, don't step on bugs, Lenny. I won't. I promise you, my. I promise you, I will never again step on a bug. That's unless huge. it's a cockroach. I will absolutely step on cockroaches. I hate them. Oh my god! All right, here we go. We're everything else. We're no, getting... no, no! Do not bring them. Uh, I'm gonna bring you something. Do not bring them. Special. No. <clears throat> He's never gonna invite me ever again. I do like the cow. The cow is so cute, you guys. She's got this really terrible. cute cow. He's just <clears throat> so fast. He's so much faster. I don't know if I can handle this. Is there a door around here somewhere? I need to plan my escape route. Okay, there's a lot of cable. Ooh, I'm kind of trapped here. Okay. Hmm? Oof. I'm Hissing cockroach. Wait, they hiss? Oh no. Yeah. I don't actually like really okay, scared. The ones are so fast though. So you're a bug killer. No, I'm just I just don't I'm just scared of them. So like I don't want them like if I see a bug in my house, I, I don't want Great. the bug in my house. You know what I mean? Like I have a fear of things crawling in my ears. I have another one. <clears throat> That's not a cockroach, is it? Um <laughs> is it, it is a cockroach. It is a cockroach. I'm only telling you that because when I messaged Lenity about doing a collab, um, she was like, okay, I'm just really scared of cockroaches. And I was like, Psh. okay, no worries. Um, okay, I, I did get a small, I got a baby. So it's less scary. No, bring the big one. I will bring the big one, but I, I oh, want you to get used to the baby first. Okay. The babies are way faster though. So actually I think this is worse, but. Oh God. This is a baby. This is a baby Madagascar hissing cockroach. Her name is Barbara. 
Is that like a special cockroach? It's just like a random cockroach. Like, oh, that's different. That's a different kind of cockroach. Yeah. Do you like it? They're not as ugly as the ones that we have in Colombia. Okay. Mm. The we'll ones we that? have in Colombia are smooth on the sides and they just have two wings. So they are special. This is one of the largest species of cockroach mm -hmm. um, in the world. But oh! she's a baby. <laughs> she's a baby. Yeah. Um, they're called Madagascar hissing cockroaches because they can hiss. So they'll like expel air from their stomach and make like a s sound oh, if they're in cool. defense. That's I also really think it's pretty cool. cool. Yeah. Um, their favorite foods are apple and sweet potato and zucchini and mm -hmm. bananas. They like, they like those things, and they're really important because they're also detritivores, which means they break down organic material in our soils, um, and make it so that we can grow things. Hmm. Make a hissing sound. Um, this one probably will not. Cause she's hanging out. Do they bite? I don't think that you would feel it if they bit. She looks so scared. No, she doesn't. No, I'm not. I'm good. I'm she actually a lot scared. less scared than I thought I was going to be. Okay, that's big. Um, do you yeah. want to hold her? <clears throat> no, 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 no. I would never. <laughs> no. <laughs> now you're crazy. Do you want to like, do you want to be closer to her? Do you want to see how fast she is? I'm just scared you're going to like throw her at me or something. I, I will not. No, no, you would never do that? I would that? never do that with a bug, no. Okay, okay. I would feel bad for the bug. I would not do that for the bug. <laughs> okay. Look, they're really fast. <clears throat> okay. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh, he flipped. God, the poor bugs today, man. Yeah. Um, look at her. Look at her go. Wow. Amazing. So She's they actually are really good at gripping. Um, they can climb glass. Are you ready for a bigger one? Yeah, let's this do it. This is like a baby. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Right, let's get How big one. is big? I guess. Um, this is big. How big? Can handle it. How big are they, chat? Okay. If I saw one on glass, I'd slap. See, that's the thing. Like, I just, I always kill them. I don't like cockroaches. Like, hell no, man. I'm just six feet. No, that's not impossible. Impossible. <clears throat> Can I hold you? Two feet. Okay, we're not talking about penises, chat. We're talking about cockroaches. The size of my hand. Like my palm or my whole hand? Oh, Sorry. hell no. Lady. No, hell no. My Jeez, whole hand? Please. Okay, don't be so <clears throat> fast. Four inches. Few. Okay, yeah, it's not that bad. Missing I can hand. handle this. I'm it's fine. Fast. If I can stay in the room, I'm good. <clears throat> okay. I got another one. Um, but <clears throat> we're working on finding a different one because this one's also really fast despite her size. Oh, okay. how, how big did you think it was? Oh, God, I'm scared. Like this? That's a really good guess. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, about that God. Big. She's about that big. This is also Barbara. <laughs> All of the insects are named the same thing because you can't tell them apart. This is oh Barbara. She's an adult Madagascar hissing cockroach. We are, we're going to get one that's a lot slower, and I <clears> do <throat> think you should try to hold it. No. I think that I it would don't be think I could do it. <laughs> I, do, I, I honestly, my, if, I don't think I can do it. What if you put your hand, what if you put your hand like can this? Can you just keep your hand still? I'm going to approach. Okay. But you don't move. All right. Oh my God, it's so ugly. You know what my least favorite part about them are? What? Their feet. They have like hairs on them. It's to help them climb. They're like little, they're like soccer cleats. So I want to tell you something. Okay. <clears throat> I grew up in Colombia. Okay. We lived like up in the hills. Like Yes. That's purely my tough. mom used to have this chalk she would put all around the house so that the cockroaches wouldn't get in the house. Diatomaceous earth. So I would always see them dead. Yeah. Flipped upside down. Yeah. Everywhere. I just grew up seeing cockroaches everywhere. Dead ones, though. Yes. Were they this big? Mm. But they're different types of... Mm, okay, not quite the big. Maybe the size of the body without the head. Mm-hmm. Yeah, about, like, like from here up until, like, there. That was... You got really close to her. That was I know. thick. I know. <laughs> what, um, if, what if when we get the, the other one, what if you just put your hand down like this? No. And I, like... <clears throat> 
I just like sent her like no 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 no. (laughs) Okay, this one's fast. The one that the other one that we're gonna get is less fast. Okay, so it won't be as scary. You could touch her. No, I'm not. You want to just like right? No, I am not. No, I cannot. Are you positive? Ten, I, I, my, I cannot. I cannot do it. Like just me being this close, okay. is, like it's a lot. Okay, that's it's fine. interesting to me. Like it's it's interesting. It's just like it's just it's a it's a cockroach. I'm gonna have nightmares tonight. I'm gonna have to sleep with earplugs in. <laughs> They're not gonna go in your ears. I don't. I just have a fear also, of things crawling in my ears. These also don't live here. Um, these are only found in Madagascar. How'd you get them? Um, we got them from an educational <clears throat> colony in Pennsylvania. Oh, it's this camera. Look at, look at her. It's a cute little roach. Are those the ones that people deep fry and eat? What? No. No? I don't think so. That's kind of crazy. I would not want to eat them. Um, in Colombia, we eat ants. <laughs> like big butt ants. Oh, I have seen that. Yeah. Um, They're really good. They don't have any ants. They're pretty yummy. Anyway, okay, this is this is Barbara. The males that we have are named Baked Bean. That's pretty big. Is the backpack ready? Okay. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to go see if I can get a slower one, Alinity. Okay, the antennas. I know. They're not cute. Don't say cute. They're not cute. Their antennas are for, like, I don't know. They just move. Stop eating your bugs, Maya. In Zambia, they eat these big caterpillars and flying ants. That's crazy to me. Hell no. You want me to touch it? Uh, it's just a moving turd. You gotta be fine, Pinkies. I know I'm gonna be fine. It's not that I don't think I'm gonna be fine. It's just ah, it grosses me out. She is. It's not a it's not a it's not a fear of dying. It's not a fear of it's just like a like a yuck. I I have a hard time describing <laughs> what I feel with cockroaches, but it's just like it's such a necessary drama. I, don't think I am not doing for. this. My voice, no, it's just I'm. It's from, oh, that it's one's the, bigger. It's the same. Ah, uh, is the same one? It's not the same one, but <clears throat> I feel like it's the same size. It's just no? in a different part of your hand. I think this one is thicker. No, this one is absolutely bigger. Okay, a little bit bigger, but barely. So it's fine. Do oh, he's touch slow. It? No, I don't think so. It's like the, the back legs. of it. Why are the legs so hairy? It's not hair. It's like it's to it's like soccer cleats. Like it's to help them climb. And why are their antennas for? They're feeling around. They move them a lot. Yeah, she's. There's a lot going on. <laughs> she's got a lot to figure out right now. Yeah. But is she blind? No. These are her eyes here. Oh, that's so she's looking around. It's kind of cute, right? Mm. You don't think it, look at her little eyes. She's looking at you. Okay, I'm gonna ask you something. Okay. Imagine if she was like really big, like the size oh of a God. dog. The dream. Would you still think she was cute? The dream. Yeah, I would love to have a giant insect friend. What is the biggest insect out there? Oh, um, what like a Goliath beetle? Maybe I don't actually know the answer to that question. Kind of cute, right? Really Barbara is so cute. Thank you. You can see. Yes. You no, Barbara is not cute. But I do find funny that you name all your animals of the same species, same name. It's because they all look the same. Yeah. Look at, okay. Look at Barbara. Hold on. I got to go like this. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> look at Barbara. Look at her feeling around with her little antennas. We know. Um, I know this roach because she's missing part of her antenna. I don't know how that happened. But... She's feeling around with those two and her little mouth parts and her little hands on the top of her head. That's where her eyes are. Alinity and her just made eye contact. It was really sweet. <laughs> they, they had a moment. Um, but she's just really gentle. It's looking around, exploring, you know? Thank you, Axel Mars, for 25 and Rangutan for the five. Oh, thank and you. Stewix for the dollar. Thank you guys for the donations. Look how shiny Barbara she is. really appreciates your donations. Yeah, Barbara's stoked right now. Whoa, that's cool. Don't look at me. Look at the roach. She doesn't move. Just let her on your hand, Alinity. I don't think so. They don't look too bad. I agree. I think they're pretty cool. And I will touch it, maybe. She will touch it, maybe. Okay. If you touch her on the back, she'll probably come this way. So. The top? Can mm-hmm. I touch the top? Yep. 
Can you touch her first just so I know what she'll do? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite. She almost made it. She almost made it. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> so close. Yeah, she's got it. She's she's got it. She's got it. All right. Yep. <laughs> you didn't touch her. I touched her. I, did I felt her. I touched her. I touched her. I did touch her. I did touch her. Roll the clip. I, I did touch her. I, I actually touched her. Touched her. <laughs> I actually touched her. Go I again. promise. No, I swear I touched her. Alinity. I touched her. Alinity. I touched her. You're famous. You need to tell everybody that is afraid of bugs to not be afraid of bugs because they're really important. And you need to have a moment right now where you overcome your fear so that everyone else can overcome their fear. It's your responsibility as a creator. Yep. You're almost there. You're so close. <laughs> yeah, she does. <laughs> She's not even scared. See? What do you think? What do you think? Um, <laughs> it's kind of smooth. She's smooth. Yeah, she's, she's smooth. smooth. She's beautiful. She's, she's lots smooth. of colors. She barely even moved when Alinity mm. touched her. And Alinity wanted to do that. <laughs> that's, that's yeah, I'm Alinity. so excited I did that. She feels really good. Yeah, very it. good. So that's how you know, guys. She's no, I don't think smooth. these fly because they don't have wings. They do not. No, not I fly. like the ones we have in Colombia. The backs, you can see their wings. You can see a line down the middle. Yeah. And you can see their wings. She's right. <clears throat> these don't fly. No. no. Okay, relax. Fifty more donated if you put it in your hand. Oh <laughs> God, I know. I I'm sorry that Maya gets to miss on these fifty bucks, but it's not it's happening. Okay. You don't even it's that. not happening. I chat. That's a big. I feel like that's a big <clears throat> step. I feel like that's pretty good. I touched the cockroach. Touched I the cockroach. didn't even think I could be in the same room as them. That is pretty sick. So yeah, guys, there you it. go. Um, we that's all the insects that I have for you. Okay, good. Okay. <laughs> Thank God, she's good. She's good. Everything else is fluffy, right? Pretty much. Yeah, fluffy or feathered. <laughs> fluffy or what? Feathered. Yeah, I like that. Okay, cool. I like feathers. So we're going to go outside. We're going to switch to the backpack, and you guys can see the rest of the sanctuary. Yay. I'm going to go put Barbara back. Can we hang out with the cow? Yes. That's my favorite. We can hang out with the cow. I like the cow a lot. I forgot her name. I have a bad memory. I had a, an appointment with my therapist today. Thank you, ma'am. Cause I'm actually like really scared, Chad. Cause I'm getting like amnesia or something. Yo, thank you, assassin. Thanks for twenty five. <clears throat> Winnie, yes, Winnie the Moo. Winnie the Moo. Oh, Winnie the Moo. That'll help me remind. Remind. All right. Oh my God, I just touched my hair after touching Roach. It's okay. It's fine, Chad. Chad's pointing it out. Are you guys having fun? Yeah, what do you think? How how are you doing, Alinity? Are you having fun? I'm having a lot of fun. <laughs> well, except that last part about me touching the... But you know what? It's exciting. I think that's actually really big for you. Yeah. <clears throat> now you can say that you did that. Yeah. Anyway, uh, so I was talking to my therapist today, my psychiatrist, because I'm having, like... I'm forgetting a lot of things, but, like, bad things. <clears throat> hmm. Like, I talked to my mom the other day, and she goes... How did the party go? And I'm like, what party? She's like, well, you called me two days ago. You told me you were going to a party. And I was like, I called you? Like, I have no memory talking to you. Mm, that's scary. I, I like know. That. It's been happening to me a lot. And it's just kind of scary. Yeah, that's weird. So I'm trying to figure out what the heck's going on. My therapist thinks it's just my ADHD is getting worse. Oh. Yeah. So hopefully it's just that. But The largest insect is a titan beetle. That Early onset that. dementia. I, I hope it's not that. So, yeah. She's showing animals. Yes, we're going to go outside and we're going to look at the fluffy animals. That's my favorite types of animals. <gasps> oh, yes. Those are the ones that we have in Colombia. No. <clears throat> this is huge. No, that's too big. We don't have those in Colombia. Titan beetle. The ones we have. Oh, my God. It's huge. That is gigantic. Whoa. Big bug. That's really big. All right. I'm gonna swap Timbo. Oh, thank you, Timbo. A hundred dollars. Let's go. All right. Uh, you want to get one? Uh, yeah, sure. Can I take this one off? Yeah. The one on the top of my head. Come on. Yeah. To you. Yeah. I'll come to you, Julie. Yeah. Okay. Hello, everyone. Um. It's swapped. Prog. Oh. 
<laughs> Brock, thank you for the fifty dollars. Really appreciate that. Um, we should be swapped over right now. We're switching mics. Um, Wait, keep that one. Keep what? That one. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm just it's tangled. Okay. <laughs> mics everywhere. Are there any baby ostriches? No, but we do have rat type. One rat type. <coughs> We got Flip on the cam. Flip cameraman. Flip cam. Flip cam. Flip's here. All right. Can we just this on the table? Uh, yeah, sure. That's fine. Do you want me to clip this? Yes. Clip it. Don't put it in your pocket. Yeah. No pocket. It's not in my pocket. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Julie, Yo. can you clip that behind Maya so she doesn't hit it with her elbow? I can clip you it behind it. Maya. <clears throat> okay. I've done it. I'm Perfect. a genius. Time to go. You ready? Okay. Yes. Good. I'm ready. Okay. Let's go. Yeah, alrighty. Is this? I'm gonna get my. Okay. Yeah, it's it's, it's, a it's alinity. Yeah. Wow. Alinity, would you like a cool spy chat phone? To go <gasps> yes. On your wrist? Sick. Chat. It's gonna be wicked. That is so true. Oh. I actually should put a jacket on. It is kind of. Yeah. It's chilly. chilly. Okay. Okay. Oh, that is so cool. Cool. Spy phone. Hi, chat. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. All right. Okay. I will have you chat on my phone. And we can go. Okay. Um, Hi, chat. You're here. Look. <laughs> You're on my hand. Okay. Oh, the sun came out. It's so nice. actually so nice today. Nice. Not crazy. Um, let's go. Let's go this way first. You haven't seen some stuff here because you haven't been here in a long time. So no, I haven't. I mean, I went in here earlier, but I didn't look. Did you see that? Look. Remember that you're not mic'd up to the camera. It smells like a pet store in here. Is that a I good thing? I don't know what it is. Is that a bad thing? I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> it's not a bad thing, but it smells like a pet it store. It does smell like a pet store. But I don't know why. It's not like it's. I'm not. It's not bad. Like it doesn't smell like pee or anything. It just. It smells like woody. There's a lot of wood in here. Like okay, um, so we have rats. Right oh, cool! I'll hold the rat. I don't know where they are. <clears throat> they're rats. I had hamsters growing up. Yeah. Little rats. <gasps> oh, cute! <laughs> That's it's just so holy. Hi, mm. Chip. Can I touch her? Yeah, you can. Try. Will she bite me? No. She does look for treats a lot, but she won't like bite you. Oh, uh -huh, cute. So cute. Little baby rat. Guys, we have rats to teach people about rodenticide use. Um, Cause when you use rat poison, the rat dies and then like a bird eats the rat. <sighs> Whatever and then... eats them dies. Exactly, exactly. Can I hold her? I don't know if she'll come out. If, she, if you like put Aww. your hand here and she wants to come out. You can oh, there's another <laughs> one there. That's... Oh, they're hanging out oh. together. It's really cute. You guys scared. That's okay, I don't want to scare them. They're so cute. Yeah. We have Chips Ahoy and Nilla Wafer. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. I like them. And these like ones were uh, bred to be snake food. Um, oh, no. And so they're here now, but they were feeder rats before. Wait, but you, you have a snake that you feed rats. We do. We buy rats um, <clears throat> that are frozen, um, and then oh. we thaw them out for our snakes. But yeah, so those are the rats, and then we have the chinchillas. circle of life chat. The circle of life. The chinchillas, and they're down here. You want to come on this side, probably. In there. Hi. Chinchillas. <laughs> oh my God, they're huge! <laughs> I did not expect what that. Do you think? So that's oh, Snork and Moomin. They're big. <laughs> Pretty cute. Are they rodents? They are. Yeah, we have these ones for uh, the fur trade. It takes like Ch over 120 of these to make a fur coat. So they almost got wiped out of the wild when fur was really popular, but now they're protected. Oh. Will they bite me? No. Here, I can give you something to give you. To give you. <laughs> they're so cute and like weird. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> they're just strange. Here, you can give them a cheerio. You have Cheerios? Do. Do I do like that? Just like a little. 
hold it. Oh, he's coming. Oh, they know our cheerio. <laughs> oh my god, our whiskers are moving so fast. I'll be quiet. <laughs> Do their whiskers move when I get excited? Look yeah, at that. Can you guys see it? Oh. Yummy. That's so nice. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> so yeah, these guys almost got completely wiped out of Peru because they were um, hunted almost all the way out of the wild when they were uh, when fur was really popular. Okay, we can close it because he's gonna come out. Do they eat them in Peru? Um, I think they think guinea pigs. Yeah, because um, I've had them I don't before. Know about chinchillas? Okay. Yeah, I've had Maybe. guinea pig before. How is that? What's that? Yeah. It's weird because they like they skim them and then they like like you have you ever seen like a rotisserie chicken? Yeah. They do that with guinea pigs. Like they that skin them sense. and they just put a stick through them and like rotisserie mm -hmm. them. Um, I was very young. I'm assuming it tastes like that chicken. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um. It's so cute how fast their whiskers move. Alright. Hey, they're gone now. Oh, they're back up there. Why do they like to hide? Um, Are they nocturnal? Uh, yeah, they're more active at night, but ours, because there's so much going on in the day, are awake oh. during the day. Okay, so makes sense. Nice. Uh, okay, we're gonna walk up this way. Where, you make the, you make the crows when you're here? Or are they not here yet? The crow. No. Okay. So when I was here last time, when we did the, when you did the Halloween, uh -huh. I like missed the whole animal part of it. Yeah. I don't know why. We were like, there's so much going on at the same time yeah. that I didn't get to see any of the animals. Yeah, it wasn't. <coughs> we, we kept the animals out of most of that stream because there was alcohol and everyone was drunk. So oh, <laughs> that makes didn't, sense. Didn't let people move along. Yeah, I was pretty drunk, so <laughs> I would have probably not been good around the animals. <laughs> yeah. But when I went in the bathroom earlier, the first thing I remember was, oh, this is a bathroom that I showered with Crazy Tron in after the, the mud thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's right. That's, the shower. that's my shower now. Because oh, I, I'm in the tiny house, but I don't have water or septic. So I come down here and shower and pee. Wait, you have to you have to walk all the way just to pee? Yeah. There's no way my you have to have a pee bucket somewhere. I don't. I pee outside sometimes. <clears throat> yeah, okay. But I don't have a bucket. <laughs> she got bit once. I got bit by a spider while I was peeing outside. By a spider? Yeah. Oh, I got no. um I got a bacterial skin infection. Cause I got bit. Chat, oh, insects make up ninety four percent of the answer. <laughs> they're important. <laughs> they're important. How do you feel about spiders now, Maya? I love spiders. You like them? Hmm. After you, after you. Wait, so where's your house? Is that your house? Over? No, it's it's all the way up there. I'll show you it after stream. Okay, okay. Um. Okay. So we have a bunch of enclosures up here. Um. This is I don't know if this was here, but this is a crow enclosure. But there's nothing in it right now. Um. Because we just got two little monkeys, and they're gonna move into here. So that's exactly. You have monkeys? Yeah. Can I see them? You can see them after the stream. They can't see them. Okay, um, how come? They Secret? Yeah, they're, they're in my house right now. No, that's so okay, that's okay, that's okay. I, I will not ask too many questions, sorry. I'm very curious, so <laughs> just tell me to shut up. I love monkeys. And this is the crow enclosure. Okay. Do you feel, Chad, I'm gonna kiss you. Monkeys. Are you guys jealous? Are you scared of birds? No. Okay. Hi. Have it. Have it. <clears throat> We'll see how scared they are with the with the cameras. Okay. Mm -hmm. They're not gonna poke my eyes, are they? No. Okay. Whoa. Abbott. Do oh my god, I watched the crow videos. They're like really smart. Super smart. They use tools. That's right, yeah, they do. Yeah. Where is he? Are you scared? Oh. Are you guys scared? Hello. <clears throat> might just like what do they eat? Like everything. everything. Um, yeah, so they eat uh, eggs and kibble and mice and fruits and veggies and nuts and like everything. Are they do, are they like are they like dead animals? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. That's what I thought. They're scavengers. They might not come down. I think they're scared. 
Yeah, scary. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. That's why they have that branch. So the crows. <laughs> <laughs> He's so cute. He goes like that. Um, they were they were wild when they were born, but they were blown out of their nests when they were babies. So. Um, <laughs> They were raised by humans and don't know how to take care of themselves. They imprinted is, is what it's called. Um, so that's why they're here. That's um, Abbott and Coconut. They're scary cats. Okay. He I does this it. really funny thing every time he makes that really? sound. He goes like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alright, well, so much for the crows. Sometimes they're better, sometimes they're worse. And then we'll go up there to see the foxes. There's a lot of security here, chat. A lot. More than a Colombian prison. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Colombian prisons are way worse. Everybody has two doors. Two yeah, no, that makes sense. Yeah. So that they don't fly away. It is. That is their stranger danger sound. You're right. Nice. Yeah. because Finn, the gray one that you'll see in there, he was rescued from uh, the illegal pet trade in California. And Reed was orphaned as a baby and was raised by humans. Mm -hmm. And uh, Look at him, Chad. now is in captivity for the rest of his life as well. He looks like a wolf almost. Yeah, crazy, right? Like he um, looks like a dog. They're both red foxes, but Finn was bred for the pet trade. So they breed them to look all different colors, kind of like why Polly doesn't look like a chicken, you know? Hi! Are you looking for something? Oh my god, it literally looks like a dog. Yeah. That is so cool. And we have these two to teach about the fur trade and the pet trade, because foxes are used in fur also, um, and oh. Finn is a great example of, you know, someone's pet. Are they they're not, they're not that pets. fluffy? Uh, yeah! So I mean, Reed is, is <clears throat> a wild fox. I like Finn. He's really cute. He is so cute. <laughs> he took Finn's name. <laughs> Actually, it's F E N N, so it's not. Oh, Finn. it's not Finn. Okay. Safe. Okay. It's all crowd in the vestibule, everybody. Load in. And then. I want to go like this. Sorry, chat. In your face. Oh my god, he's so cute. Finn. Hi, buddy. Who's here? Hello. Hello. Will you bite? Mm -hmm. Shouldn't. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. Do you smell the, the must? The a little. Like skunks? Here, a little bit, him? yeah. You can put these in your hand and hold it out for him. Finn, Finn. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Good boy. Oh my god, he's so cute. I have one more. That's so nice. Let's see, I, I don't know. know. The other one actually looks like a fox. Yeah. Yeah. He looks... I don't know. You're cute. He's so cute. Good boy. You didn't eat your blackberry. Munch, berry. munch, munch. Don't want the blackberry. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, not that healthy Hi, stuff. <gasps> Here, you feed Finn and I will feed Reed because Finn is a boy. Okay. No, he's leaving. Okay, Chung. Oh, I like his tail. It's so poofy. Kind of crazy. I'm done. Okay. Oh, he's scared. Anyway, um, yeah. So these guys are both to teach people about the pet trade and the fur trade. Um, again, they're both European red foxes, but like he's obviously not red um, because they they breed them to look different and look crazy. Even his facial structure is different. 
But they make really terrible pets. Um, they smell like skunk. <clears throat> like, you can smell it. Yeah. It's, if they were inside, like, because there's air coming through, you know? But if they were inside your house, oh my god. Like, it would the be awful. The whole house awful. Would smell so bad. They mark everything. So they pee in everything, they poop in everything. This water bowl is a decoy bowl um, because they pee in it. Whenever you put it down, they just uh, put their scent on everything. Um, so they have other waters that they're not supposed to be able to pee in. Um, wow. And Finn, I think his story, he was either someone got him as a pet and they were like, oh, this is a terrible pet. I don't want this yeah. anymore. Or um, they uh, they were reported because it's illegal to have them as a pet. Hi, you come with him. Reed's a little more shy. Is Reed a boy or a girl? They're both boys. Oh, they're both boys. It's nice. <coughs> Reed is three years old and Finn is two years old. He's so brave. So someone had Finn as a pet and then they realized how hard it is to deal with it and they didn't yeah. want to deal with it. What did they do with it? Um, the California Department of Fish and Wildlife confiscated him. And then he was at a zoo for a bit and then they got transferred here. Nice. Good boy. You're so brave. Wow. They have a really nice like home here. Yeah, they're Very big and 40 by 26. Um, Cutie did the fundraising for this enclosure. Um, in California, they were in a 5 by 10 foot. This is 40 by 26. So 5 is like I'm 5 feet. Yeah. So. <laughs> so 1 of you by 2 of you. Oof. Yeah. That's rough. Yeah. Yeah, they got lots of cool stuff here. Go. Trees. And Good boy. We can tell they're comfy here. Yeah, I think they're pretty happy. Yeah, they're little foxes. Lovely. What about the weather? Because it gets chilly here. They do really good. Um, oh, I think they would okay, actually good. love if it snowed here. They did great in the freeze. Um, but when it's hot, this room has AC. Uh, oh, so they'll have okay. uh, AC in. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. Sad. I can't imagine your house smelling like that. <laughs> that would not be fun. Yeah, it's pretty bad. That would not be fun. Pretty bad. Um, I love it. Thank you for the $50 donation. Appreciate it. All right, shall we walk back down? Yes. Oh, I have not been looking at chat. I'm so excited about <laughs> the animals. Hi, chat. <laughs> okay. I have a fox family under my shed. Ooh. Cool, I guess. No, that's, that's, that's very close. Oh. Oh. Okay. Excuse me. <laughs> Yay. With that wrap on her hand, like... She bought a Yu-Gi-Oh! duel somewhere. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> like I'm gonna hit someone. I don't know. I didn't get it. I just oh, bye, Finn. He is just chilling in the sun. The treehouse. My uncle built that. Um, that's annoying. Looking. So oh. Bye. Chat say bye. Bye, Finn. He's cute. I think he's my favorite so far. He's really cute. <clears throat> I like him a lot. No, the cow. I like the cow. I've known uh, I've known the red one since he was a baby. He lives to live at the zoo that I used to work at. Did you tell me how you got Reed? Reed was orphaned as a baby in the wild and then was raised by people. And because they're European red foxes, uh, wildlife rehabbers aren't allowed to release them because they're not native. Oh, because it's like a threat to the environment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Abbott! Can you see the baby cow now? How do you see? I don't know where she is. I think the cow's still out, so chat, look for a cow. She's <laughs> <laughs> somewhere. What, Winnie or there's another one? Winnie. Oh, yeah. yeah. There's only <gasps> one. Hi, buddy. I, I told chat earlier that when I drove here, She was like curious about me. She was a bottle baby. So. What is a bottle baby? Like she drinks in a bottle. Oh, oh like she was raised by people? Yeah. How yeah. did you get Winnie? I picked Winnie up from a, off of a cattle operation in Oklahoma. So she was a beef cow. They're or, gonna kill her and eat her? Yeah. No! <laughs> she's so cute. But now she's here. Oh, this is making me want to not eat meat. I like meat so much. That's <laughs> tough. You guys are watching it unfold. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, my thing is bacon. I feel like I could do without beef, but I don't think I can do without bacon. I don't even like bacon. No? Not really. You don't like bacon? Not really. 
Bacon is the best thing in the whole world. If I could pick one thing to eat for the rest of my life, it'd be bacon. That's crazy. Yeah, That's I love crazy. Bacon. I love, love, love bacon. So good. Yeah. Alinity's gonna love beetle. We're not letting the goats out. Alinity already had to dodge them. We're not doing it again. They're kind of mean. <laughs> yeah, they suck. The goats, they're not part of the sanctuary. They just live here. They leech off of our resources. They bleach? Yeah, they need to. <laughs> How many goats do you have? Three too many. Three too many? Yeah. <laughs> you like them? I like one. <laughs> yeah. The nice one. No. Not no? Nice. Not the nice one? I like the second nicest one. The second nicest one. Wait, how come you like the second nicest one, not the nicest one? This is cute. Oh, it's cute? <laughs> is it all about looks for you, Maya? No, they all look the same. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I was gonna say, they like, literally look the same. I just love her. No, I see. Beetle. Um, okay, so we have a few more things we're going down here to see right now. There are parrots. Actually, I'm not gonna leak it. Okay. Here, I know. Here. Yeah. I mean, there are parrots. You guys are and he's locked up. <laughs> it's a rooster. It's a rooster. He makes himself as cool. Okay, so I have a question. Yeah. So chickens, they become hens or roosters. Is that what it is? Yeah. Chickens are either hens or roosters. No? Oh, okay. I, I, I'm not sure about that. All roosters are chickens, but not all chickens are roosters. Because some chickens are hens. Exactly. Exactly. Wait, what's the name of the chicken we saw? The black fluffy one. Polly. Polly. Is that a hen then? It's a hen. She doesn't live here because she's too small and I think they'll kill her. Oh. So. Maybe they'll get jealous because she's so cute. Yeah, Polly. <laughs> Oliver! <laughs> That's Oliver. He's a booster. Hi, buddy. Oliver was gonna be a meat chicken. Oh. Um, he was at a feed store and I bought him and then didn't cook him. <laughs> like my parents. I wonder if my chicken looked like this. Because my chicken was yellow. Do you yeah. think he had a collar or like what happens to them? Had a collar? Like what color does he, tr like collar, like, like he's black. Yeah. I think they eat chickens all different colors. Yeah. It matters, yeah. But do, do do yellow chickens get a different color when they're adults? You know what I'm asking? You mean like a baby chick is yellow? Yes. Yeah, they, then they turn into like a white chicken. Oh, but he, he was black okay. when he was a chick. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm just, it's so hard for me to explain things sometimes. That's why. Um, okay. I like how he's green in his tail. Isn't he like, sick? It's he's like a like really nice collar. I don't know if you guys can see it. He looks he's like got a like green on the sun. Oh, it's how the sun shines on his feathers. He looks like a valorant skin. Yeah, he's really cool. Uh oh, that sounds scary. Um, okay, so those are the chickens. Parrots. We have more scary parrots. I'm gonna spray this bottom of your shoes. It's not as muddy as I thought, it's kinda nice. Thank you. Spray. What is spray. that for? It's a disinfectant um, <clears throat> to prevent prevent the spread of uh, avian flu. Oh. We don't have it here yet, but it's just a precaution. Yeah. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> Parrots. Holy oh, shit! Yeah, they're big. <gasps> wow. Oh my god! So. Do they talk? Not those ones. Oh. I mean, I've heard that the one on the right has talked before, but I've never heard her talk. Uh, so the one on the right is Tico, and the other one is Miley. It's a blue and gold macaw and a Catalina macaw. But these ones could break your fingers for sure. <laughs> They're really scary. Are they also from the Amazon? Um, th this one's from Central America. This one doesn't naturally exist. It's a hybrid between this oh. and the red parrot. The big red ones. Um, oh, they're like cleaning each other. They are, are they boyfriend and girlfriend. Gage. They're female, but they're pair bonded. Oh, 
Wait, the Gage. lesbians? Yeah. They're oh, in love. Cool. That's so cool. Actually, uh, they, they don't, they don't like, <laughs> oh, <shit>. careful. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, they are pair bonded. They've never like tried to reproduce with each other. But, hi, Mia. Okay. Wait, there's another one? Yeah. She's oh, making that's little. Sounds. She's oh, like the one. This one is so cute. Hi, Mia. Oh, sorry. Hey. I walked into the room a lot. This is Mia. She's an African gray. Um, her species is endangered primarily, ooh, hi. <laughs> primarily because of the pet trade, um, but also because of habitat loss. Huh. What do you think? So how did you get an African parrot here? Um, she, these were all pets, um, and all ended up being surrendered. Um, oh, wow. Actually, okay, so they all have different, they came, the four of them came from a really great home, um, and she, she makes like a explosion noise. Um, they all came from a really great home, um, but she is in her mid seventies, and so she wanted them all to go somewhere before she passed. Oh, the away. lady is in the her mid seventies. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Um, these birds can live to be seventy, though, um, so they can be super old. But she wanted them to go somewhere before she passed away, uh, so she knew where they were gonna live. What are you doing? You dancing? Oh, so you got them? Yeah. Um, before that, though, Mia was in a couple other homes. Um, she flew away from a couple homes. Um, just like didn't work as a as a pet parrot because there's <clears> so much. Yeah. Tico, that that big bird on the right, was dropped off at a box. Um, you can show her. Um, dropped off at a box at uh, an SPCA. So oh, someone had her as a pet. He's Ooh, fun, Let's Tico. Go. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Tico, He's I just so a really cute. Sad story about Hi. you. Hi. Um, Birds dance, right? Yeah, I've seen them music. dance before. What are you doing? Oh. But someone had Tico as a pet, didn't mm -hmm. work out as a pet, and then just put her in a box outside of a shelter. So that's why that's why Tico's here. Not cool. Not cool. Not ideal. What do you think? Anyway, now they live here. Um, I don't understand people that get like strange animals as pets. As pet. I think like parrots online because there's so many cute videos you know like of them being mm. cute and dancing and talking and so everyone's yeah. like i want one and then they get they one don't realize how much work it is yeah they get one and then Ooh, it ruins really your house so like here flip you want to show them parrots are super destructive um so this is we replaced this door frame um or this frame like every oh gosh i don't even know like maybe once a month um but they just chew through this wood um, and they'll obviously do it in your house too. And in the wild, their ecological niche, so their role is a seed disperser. So their job is to eat fruits and then fly around the forest and poop so that more trees grow. Mm -hmm. And so they'll just fly around your house and poop everywhere, which is like not yeah. ideal. <laughs> not ideal to have um, that happen in your house. Yeah, and then on top of all that, I mean, they can bite so hard, they can scream so loud, and they live a really long time, so. They don't usually work it, and people don't understand what it takes to have them as pets. So most parrots end up in, in rescues. Oh. Yeah. Well, they have a really nice home here. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty proud of this, this enclosure. Hey. They're pretty happy. Hi, Mia Bird. Mia learned her owner's phone number, apparently, because <laughs> she flew away so much. She taught her phone number. Oh. What's their lifespan? Uh, this one, like Can 50. You make her say that? Or are you gonna dox her? I don't think her? she will. <laughs> yeah. uh, I was scared she was gonna dox her, but I've uh, never heard her say it, so it's okay. okay. She makes a lot of other crazy sound effects, though. She does like a car alarm and microwave beeping and um, all the different birds in the area she mimics. She does an explosion noise that you guys heard. Uh, sorry, lifespans 50 to 60 for these, 70 to 80 for those. Long time. Long time. That's crazy. Do you think it's because she heard those sounds growing up yeah. probably they had a microwave yeah. and a yeah she picks up on all of them they're really good wait i've seen a <laughs> oh good job the explosion i've Amazing. seen a video of a i don't know if it's a parrot some sort of bird yeah that talks like the radio yeah because i guess he grew Let up listening to the radio if i can find a clip of her doing the car alarm hold on siren growling <gasps> She said four birds. Where's the other? You had sirens inside. Oh, sirens Siren, inside. We saw her earlier. To visit, yeah. yeah. She was cool. She actually talks a lot. I don't know if I can find this. Anyway. Wow, their feathers are so long. Wait, do they fly? Can they fly? Uh, so they're both flight capable. They both don't know how to fly. Oh. So we're going to teach them how to fly here, but it's a process. 
But they're not clipped or anything. Here's me oh, as a okay. car alarm. <laughs> oh my god! That's crazy. That is crazy. They're really, they're really good at it. That is so crazy. Alright, we go to the pasture. Yes. <laughs> It is like an old car alarm. Like, they don't sound like that anymore. I know. I so. <laughs> so, I actually, that's an interesting point. That, we don't know how old they are um, because they're all rescued. So, these birds could be like, you know, they could be 10 years old, they could be 50 years old. I don't know. Yeah. Um, but that's an interesting way of, of aging them. Yeah, that's like, that's an old car alarm. Okay, somebody asked why they can't see the baby monkeys. So, um, we have two marmosets from a neglect situation in Austin. So uh, they both have a ton of health issues and they're under critical care right now. The reason being someone bought them as a pet in Texas, which they're not pets. Like you don't want monkeys as pets. And they couldn't take care of them. They didn't know how to properly take care of them. They didn't get enough sunlight. They didn't get the proper nutrition. And so they have to be inside right now. And I don't want to show them on stream because I think they look like pets. And I think the nature of people clicking into streams, they'll be like, oh my God, I'm a pet monkey. Yeah. And so I just think that's irresponsible, especially with where they came from. That's why you can't see them. But once they're out in an enclosure and they present more like zoo animals, then you'll see them. Stompy! Stompy! Yes, I have. I feel like he's bigger. Yeah. I thought he was bigger in last time. Yeah, Hi, Stompy. Do you remember Stompy's Is he going to poke baby? at me? Um, no, I'll, I'll come manage. What can manage is this? Hi! He's in. so cool! So serious! Hi! Boop, boop. Can I pet him? Yeah, I can try. Yes. Oh, he's looking at me. <laughs> he's like, what are you doing? Huh? Stop being so nice. He's so cute. Nice. Oh. A hug. Oh, so nice. Oh, it's like really cuddly. It's oh. kind of crazy for a bird. I'm not used to Cute. birds being so cuddly, but Stompy loves hugs. <gasps> this is adorable. <laughs> nice little bird. Stompy. He's got that thing. What is it called? The the eye thing you were talking about. Yeah, a nictitating membrane. Yeah. That's right. A lot of birds have these. Um, Stompy's obviously not flighted, but for flighted birds to be able to do that and still kind of see what's happening is really important for debris, bugs in the air and stuff. Stompy does have wings though. Can I touch him again? Just can't, yeah. And touch his head. Hmm? Where's oh, his wing? Here's his wing. Oh, does he fly? No. No, no. Oh, hello. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Anyway, this is Stompy. We have Stompy uh, to teach about the exotic meat trade. Emu meat was really popular in the 1960s. Not so much anymore. Um, but there are a lot of animals that are in the exotic meat trade that uh, it really hurts their wild populations. Are but they native of here? Australia. How did he end up here? She was, he was born at a zoo in California and the mom mm -hmm. didn't sit on the eggs. So he was incubated and then they shipped him to me from California. Oh. Hi. Australia lost a you? war to those. Oh, hi. You want to cuddle? Cuddling. Here's 1932. Friends! I can't really do oh. <laughs> Sometimes he eats air. Oh, your thing is shiny. Oh, <laughs> he likes shiny things. Oh, and your nails are kind of shiny. So <laughs> you can't eat my nails! Stumpy? No nails for you. Stumpy. He's cute though, he's not too um aggressive. Yeah. Where's the baby cow? Is that a horse? Yeah, that's my horse. He's not really a part of sanctuary either, he just lives here. He's just a pet. Yeah, kind of, basically. A pet with a little more utility than a normal one. Yeah. Are they a lot of work? Horses? Yeah. Yeah. At his age, Sarah's 20, um, so he's like pretty much- <gasps> Is that a donkey? Yeah. You have a donkey? Yeah. <laughs> <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> They're so cute. Sorry, I do have a small like donkey. Yes, I love donkey. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, 
Ace. This is Ace. This is my horse. I got knocked in the head by a horse once. Don't knock little. her in the head, okay? I was behind the horse, though. Oh, you got kicked in the head? Yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's insane. I was little. I was like five. Can I touch? No. Touch you. Yeah, you can. <laughs> Oh. That's that's Ace. He's I've had him since I was twelve. Are you gonna say that that explains so much about you? No, because <laughs> it does. No. <laughs> oh hi, you're so cute. Bird incoming. You wanna eat? Chat. You can eat chat. They suck. Eat them. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm so cute. Okay, let's go see the donkey. I wanna see the donkey. What is the donkey's name? His name's Serrano. Serrano. Like the pepper. Oh. He might, if you like stand a few feet from him, he might walk up to you. Like, he's pretty shy. His head is so big compared to his body. Like his head to body proportion. Get Stiggy, thank you for the $15. Hey. Buddy, can I say hello? Hi. I'm trying to be like non threatening. Yeah, like I'm just no, chilling. Like, I'm just chill, I'm just hanging out, you know, with my buddy Serrano. Mm -hmm. Just chilling. <laughs> oh, he's scared. Just chilling, huh? Oh. Nope, he don't like me. I know, I'm kind of weird. Hand out and stand kind of still and, and see if he, uh, like, okay. your arm up towards him. See if he comes and smells you. I have candy. <laughs> what do they eat? Hey. Oh, I think Hi. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, come on, don't be a pussy. Come here. We shouldn't be safe about Lord, sorry. Wait, this is my stream. I can say whatever I want, right? right? Okay, good. Don't be such a pussy. Come here. Oh, okay, he doesn't like me. I think I scared him. Serrano. Wait, is that another donkey? Yeah. Serrano and jalapeno. Oh, like peppers. Okay, that's cute. Yeah, it is. Well, I'm gonna go check the cow. She likes me. Serrano, you're no fun. I was really excited about you. Come here. Maybe I hang out with a cow and he gets jealous. That's that's, that's what we'll do. Hi, Winnie. We met earlier. Me and Winnie are like BFFs. Huh? No. Hi. So cute. You guys have such a cute nose. Oh, look at it. Told you guys he was going to get jealous. I told you guys. I know animals. He's right behind you. Chat. Right behind you. <laughs> He's cute. got a cute nose. Isn't she cute? She's the best. I can't believe someone was going to eat you. Is she like a regular type of cow? Because I feel like she's like not like the cow that you would expect to eat. Like, she's like short and she's like, oh, you know what I mean? She's, she's mini. Oh, hey. oh, she's really close. Hi. Oh, bye. Okay, do you want to try to give these to the donkeys? Yes. The cow won't eat them. They will. <clears throat> what I got Serrano you want some carrot you gotta be my friend first so no okay 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 carrot first <laughs> carrot yay you want the carrot we gotta be friends first let me pet you <laughs> damn he knows what I'm about <laughs> okay you can have the carrots okay <laughs> yummy you want a carrot? Oh my god, the crunch. Can you guys hear the crunch? That's so cool. This one is not for you. Come here. He's scared. He's so scared of me. <laughs> I'm done. I don't have more. Can I pet? Can I pet you? Good boy. Oh, he's so cute. I've never pet a donkey before. My hands are cold, I'm sorry. 
You are such good. Don't eat my face. Or my hands, sorry. He's so soft. You have more carrots? Now incoming. That's all I got. Sorry. Oh. Horse. <gasps> Horsey. Uh, the donkeys. We got a lot of friends. The donkeys were rescued from a feedlot. So they would have either been um, shipped off to be used in traditional medicine or used in pet food. Like cat kibble, dog kibble. What? Yeah, these donkeys. A lot of donkeys for that. A lot of other types really? of livestock too. Mm -hmm. Like the regular... Oh, hi. Yeah, just like here. Really? Like Purina stuff? I don't know about the specific brands. Um, yeah. But That's crazy. Yeah. Um, but the reason we have them... <laughs> Sorry. He doesn't understand the concept of the, the frame. Um... The reason we have the donkeys is because they boil donkey hide and make a gel out of it in traditional Chinese medicine um, called yi zhao, and they think it's a cure-all for everything. Um, it's been a huge problem for wild donkey populations. Um, they've lost like 40% of wild donkey populations in Botswana uh, because of traditional medicine. So there are a segue to talk about traditional medicine here. Asaro just lives here. We don't use him to talk about anything. Winnie is a red Angus. You asked what kind of cow she is. She's a red Angus beef <clears throat> cow. And but she's really small. She is small. She's really short. But we can use her to talk about the ag industry. Um, you know, ag industry and the effects on the environment. Be itchy. Little baby cow. But she's almost Oh, she year. is a baby. That's she's, why she's so small. I don't think she's going to get that much bigger. Um, she looks like a puppy to me. She kind of does. She's huge eyes. The eyelashes. She's small. itchy. Itchy. Aww. She's almost a year old, and uh, at this, she's almost at the point where she would be shipped off uh, to be processed. No, Sir. he's jealous. Yeah, he wants he's attention. Really a lot. <laughs> oh, he's cute. I like him. I want to cuddle that cow. She really likes scratches. Like, what are you? Are you trying to eat my hand? What is he trying to do? Is he gonna bite me? No. Okay. He thinks you have carrots. Probably. Oh, I don't have any more carrots. Does he like carrots too? Um, he does, yeah. I gave him one to distract oh. him while you were feeding the donkeys. Oh. Hi. Ch I would not recommend crouching around livestock. Not a good idea. Itchy! Oh, he's so cute. Chicken incoming. <laughs> Giant chicken. Hi. <gasps> Careful. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> She My wants, finger! She wants your nails. So they're pretty colors, sorry. <laughs> Isn't it like... It's not nice. I'm not bleeding or anything. No, it's it's fine. It was nice just... <laughs> sorry. <laughs> she got me good. It's not nice. Stompy. Bird kisses. Stompy likes shiny things. Um, um, he ate this ring. Like, swallowed it. And you found it in the poop? No, it got... It was endoscopically removed. He's had two endoscopies. No! Because he eats things that he shouldn't eat. I, I don't have any likes food. Things. I don't got any food. No, no, don't bite. <laughs> you I, don't bite. He's got big teeth. They have giant teeth. Yeah, they do. Asaro, will you? This is actually like the least about you. <laughs> he's what? He's not even supposed to be here. <laughs> <laughs> Go. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> That's a pasture. He's a boy? Yeah. They're retractable. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Not trying to be pervert or anything, but I was just like <laughs> curious. You just see the donkeys. What? It's crazy. Truly. Really. I didn't look. I mean, they're they're all the right now. But like when they're super relaxed, it's like crazy. I mean, it's it's more than halfway to the ground. No way. I swear to God. Ew, that's kind of gross. I mean, if you think about the logistics, right? Because they mount... They mount uh, females from behind, so they have a long way to go, you know? Yeah, that ma okay, that actually makes a lot of sense. You're right. It's an educational stream. Yeah, that makes sense. They gotta get all the way behind the butt. Right. Yeah. She, yeah. Hello, chicken. Beep, beep. I will never forget you trying to eat my finger though. <laughs> it is really. Yeah, everywhere else is fine. It's really muddy in here though. Am I missing anything? Get no. the clip. Wait, did you guys make a clip of my finger? 
longer being bitten. I hope you guys are making really cool clips. I'm it looking so at cool. you. It was really, you and the donkey was really cute. Yeah? It really, yeah, it was really a cool shot. Oh, I like the donkey. Here's a call. Okay, so post the clips on my Discord later when I get home so uh, I can look at them. Not right want, now. They want you to see the donkey penis. <clears throat> oh, they want me to see the donkey penis? Yeah. See? <gasps> Crazy, right? <laughs> yeah, that's kind of crazy. <laughs> huh. We had a donkey and a horse, that's a mule, right? Yes. That is correct. They have a lot of those in Colombia. Yeah. They just use them as pack animals. I like, love mules. They carry stuff. They're so small. They're they're like sterile, like um Yep. Also they, true. Uh, they can't have babies. Isn't like their sex like not actually a sex? It's weird, right? I don't know about that. Like, there's I think no female or males. They're just kind of. No, I, I don't think know. there are. I think they they're are. Just, I think they're just sterile. Oh, okay. I, I mean, I don't know that for sure. I could be wrong. Uh, I did meet the goats, but um, not doing that. They're today. not very friendly. I have no ability to worry about. So. Goats. Oh, that's okay. I'm not gonna. <laughs> if, if something hurts me, I'm not gonna be like. Okay. You know. Thank you. No, I would just, you know, I'm not like that. Yeah, they're just kind of mean, though, not my cup of tea. They're mean, to be honest. I'm pointing at the ground. There's license oh, plates. Oh, yes. Okay. Cars. Chat, don't look at the license plates. Don't look at the cars. They're not for you. Jealous, I'm gonna get to see Maya's house in Maya's monkey. Best part for lunch. Are you guys doing Yes. Yeah. Um, they have a bowl of produce if you wanna bring it to Okay. Hello. Okay. That is all. Well, actually, you should go in here really quick. You wanna go in there, Lenny? Yeah. What's in there? Um, it's the reptile room. I feel like the cockroaches are in there. They're, they are in there. But Where? Not, not right away. I'll show you. They're not out, Elena. They're in okay. the enclosure. Oh my. Nothing in here. This is, so we have a blue-tongued skink who just moved into this cage. What's a skink? It's a lizard. Australian lizard, but he's, oh, he's right there, look at his head. He's poking out. <gasps> oh wow! He's cute. It looks like a like a snake. It face. does. Yeah. And then we have a snake. Big snake. Yeah. Oh. That is new. Why is he like all wrapped up? She's just chilling, soaking. She's just. Oh, she's in water. Is it like yeah. warm water? No, it's it's like room temperature. Okay. But she loves. The water. So, yeah. Oh, that's cute. And then this is the uh, this is the critter cave. Oh. So this is where all the roaches are. Oh Jesus! <laughs> no! Oh God! Oh God! Um, you guys go in. I'll stay like oh like at the door. Okay. I'll stay at the door. You can um, you can go on. So we have uh, Madagascar hissing roaches. These are the females up here, and then the males are down here. Are they separate because they eat each other? No, because they have more roaches. And you don't want to have too many roaches. We have over a hundred. Yeah, that's yeah, a lot that's of a roaches. Lot. And we have isopods, isopods, isopods. We have. Scorpions. I'm feeling really itchy. Oh, it's fair. We have scorpions. We have a vinegaroon. Um, which Ooh, what is, is that? It's an it's an arachnid that produces acetic acid. So we have these eye wash stations um, because it's corrosive, what she produces in defense. But she's never done it, she's very nice. Her name is Pickles. We have a millipede, Patchy lives there. <gasps> I wanna see the millipede. He's buried right now. Oh. He's in That's cool. Yeah, they're nocturnal, so he's like, oh, that's okay, you don't have to wake him up. I don't know where he is. He's like this long. Oh like my god, that's crazy. Where'd you get them from? Weed. 
Uh, we order all of our insects because we can't mm. rescue them. And then <gasps> a snake. Patchy's in there. You oh, that's Patchy. Patchy. Yeah. And then he looks smaller in there. Yeah. He's get He's moving into that like big enclosure that was on your right when you walked in. What is in here? Crickets. Feeder oh. feeders for Georgie and oh. the scorpions. Oh, okay. and, and yeah, Patchy's moving into that enclosure because he's growing. Oh. Mm. Is this gonna be like the side wall? Yeah, this is the back. Oh, okay, yeah. Pretty sweet. Cool. That's it. Okay. God, here it's hot. All right. Yeah, it's warm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Do you want to give a shout out to the stream and how they can support Alveas? Yeah, guys. If you want to watch um, the Alveas Sanctuary channel, you can. Um, there are live cams on all the animals, so you can see the animals like all day. Uh, and what they do when we're not there, which is really fun. Uh, we have a big Valentine's Day fundraiser coming up, so if you want to come back for that, it'll be very fun. It's on Valentine's Day. Mm, I got to see a sneak peek of it. It's going to be good. Sweet, yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, okay, there's also... That's separate. I'm also doing a stream on uh, sex and love in the animal kingdom, so lots about different types of penises and things like that. So you can watch that if you'd like. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for donating today. That that fundraiser setup worked great, by the way. Okay, good. That, like every time. So thank you. Yeah, but for sure. Fourteen hundred dollars. Damn. That's crazy. Thank you guys for the support. Really appreciate yeah. it. All right, and that is all. Thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna go show Lenny my tiny house. Do you want to raid somebody? Um, I don't. I don't care. <laughs> Do you want to read Alveus? Yes, let's read Alveus for sure. Can I go see the live cams? Yes, that's Space a great idea. Yep. Okay. All right. <clears throat> we'll do that. And wait, is Alveus live twenty four seven? Yep.